Hey guys, it's John Jacker Gaming here. I had to go back. I've done this video like three times an hour piece. So this video has been three hours alone. Um, reason being is because the video crashed the first time. So you know the the video where we where I, where we stopped off. Uh, with the hologram, I'm, I'm sorry to say that data is lost. I, I really hate to say it. I don't usually like doing that, but it's it's gone at this point. It, the game didn't save it that didn't save at that point. Of a metal devil. Great. So we're gonna pick it up from here, and hopefully everything goes well. Oh. Gotcha. I now understand why I keep getting out over why they keep going away. Quick way down. Got some. They're inside too. That does it. Time to take a look around the room. So if it if you guys it seems like I'm doing things a bit fast, yes I am. It's because I know what what to do. Operation enduring victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. That must be an, another way up for some other way that's going to be in here. Where the soldiers slept, like the lodge in Mother's heart, I guess. What was this place? The furnishings were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. I guess I'm used to it. Red light. Guess that means no power. Whatever powered this door should be close by. I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. There must be some kind of code. Maybe a useful information. Three 
power lines, resources. That makes one. I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how?
now. First time I did it, just crashed. So. to ditch something. No! Oh well. 
I mean, I need to find a, a, a spear that'll let me put stuff on it anyway, so. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. Oh, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Can't I? Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base? What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. <sighs> and the bad? It's directly underneath the citadel. The palace at Sunfall. <sighs> the capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. Zero Dawn, what sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines, but not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. Let's... Now, how am I gonna get down from here? Huh. I should be quite the ride. Huh. 
I'd do that again, if it weren't so much work to get back up there. All right, you guys. So I think that's where I'm gonna cut it. I know it's gonna be like a 12 minute video compared to the other hour video, 45 minute videos, but I'm just gonna cut it here right now. So that way I can go ahead and make sure the video doesn't get too long and crash again, all right? It's been good, and Jaja out. I'm awake.